Hello and welcome back to Simply Solo Playthroughs. We are here once again with Geppetto and the Carnival of Blood with Final Girl. We are having mirrors everywhere. If you attack, then there are one or more victims in your space. A victim dies for every one you roll. We are using center stage. And so let's get playing. <laughs> We have weak attack, short rest, we're going to set those aside. We're going to focus, focus, walk, walk. Depending on how well we roll. Which may not be very long. Only two dice, not one, three. Okay, good news. We have a focus. We do lose one time. We do put it down by one. We will play focus again. Wow, plus two time down by one. That is really, really good. We are going to go on ahead and walk. And how are we gonna walk? So I like this, I kinda like this car. I'm not too keen on the back side, but the front side I really too like. We're going to walk, I think. There's an exit. There. One, two, and three. Oh, that's not there. Huh. That was for my last game. Okay, let's see how much we walk. Okay, that's 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 acceptable. That that that's acceptable. And we will walk one to and pick up a person as we go. We will walk again. Wow. Uh, these dice are kind of nice. Walk here one. Reduce the horror level by one. Which is super duper important. And we get one more walk. And I'm going to go up here and grab two more. And oh, we get to move one more space. So we'll move one more space. Take these two down here. One and two. We get two time. And we're going to move one, because we get to move one more space, we're going to move back up. Okay, that was really helpful. Okay, um, that is the end of our turn. We are not taking chances with anything else. Because there's literally nothing else for me to do at this point. Okay, we want... We have eight to spend. We definitely want a search. We want a guard. We want a... I don't know if we want to distract or not. Because that's a 2-4. A distraction is 3. And a close call... I am thinking I'm going to take two searches instead. Scratch, scratch. No. Oh. That's two, four, six. And we have a total of eight. I am going to take another sprint. I have a plan. My plan is to run down here, hit here, hit the search, and run back. That's one, two, three. Do a search, one, two, and I can figure out where to move from there based on. I love how my cards get so messed up right away. We this 
they move one to the closest victim. He just slashes a victim. There's no one to slash. We take a terror card. Welcome to the greatest show. All victim moves one space closer to the big top. Place the killer at the big top. Okay. One closer. One closer. Yeah, definitely this way. Has to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four, five. And they're gonna move one closer. Wow, does that change my plans a little bit or what? Okay. So they move one closer. And they hack and slash. And we go on ahead, we put up the like, two, and they will panic. So I had to make sure about the rules and two. Go this way, and this one goes four. Here to the big top. Okay, this is more than interesting to say the very least. Let's go to turn number two. Okay, our first move is going to be to sprint. We oh, we do have three die, which is good. And we get three success. These two are out. We reduce it by two, one, two. That means we get an extra time. First, I'd rather have something else. I don't know what. During the action phase, you may lose three health to take critical blow action card directly into your hand. That is going to be something I'm going to have to take a look at that. Okay, so that's one sprint. We did lose one time on to sprint. We're down to five time. We have two more spots. We're gonna move one, take two, take two and return. I am thinking that's a mistake. I know it's not a mistake. Yeah, we'll just take the two. And we will take the two extra time up to seven. One, two, three. Okay, that's that. Uh, we are going to go on ahead and sprint again. And we move two spaces, lose one time. And we move to the Forest of Horrors, and we are going to search the Forest of Horrors. Search. And take the top item, and we will do that, which is bullwhip. We will definitely equip the bullwhip. I like this thing. This is pretty cool. This is really cool. Because the nice thing about it is it knocks an enemy back. So it'll knock him back to another spot. Uh, so he's not going to be starting on your spot, which is kind of nice, especially for this one, because he just slashes, doesn't move and slash. That is one kind of nice thing. Okay. I am going to take the, the critical blow. During my action phase, I am going to lose three health. I am going to do a short rest. At least I don't have to worry about falling asleep. Lose one time, I don't want to pay. We'll lose one time, we gain one back. 
that is the end of that turn. One, two, three, four. We have five to purchase with. I don't know that distraction is worth it anymore. We're going to go with a search and an improvise for our five points. This gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, that's more than I thought it was. Okay, that's good. We have a new one. He will then move towards the closest victim. We'll move to the closest victim. We'll move to the closest victim. Nope, we'll just slash. Terror card. Dance puppet, make a horror roll. Move puppets one space towards you and to the nearest victim, your choice. All puppets one space toward you or the nearest victim. Well, they are near the nearest victim, so they are going to stay there. Kill a victim in your space if there are none. Okay, so that's it. That's all we're doing. That is nice. That was a good horror roll card. I am going to start with a search. Okay, one success. I really don't want to get rid of anything. I could get rid of a focus, but I don't I want to. Okay, we'll just take the one success. We get the top item, which is a knife. I am going to hang on to the bullwhip. We are then going to walk. We lose one time. We get to walk two spaces. One, two. We gain one extra time. Up to five. And now what? Okay, I can't make it to... They're dying. <laughs> Um, oh no, no, focus. Okay, let's go ahead and walk. Whoa, I am just gonna lose my two time. I don't wanna lose another health. Okay, so, short rest back. We have three to purchase. And I will take a sprint and the reroll card. That takes us back to nine cards. And they walk closer. He hacks. Nothing happens. Where did the hell, where the hell did the blades come from? Place the splitting blade for a trap token in your space. Immediately apply the traps effect. See the trap reference card and any victims in your space. Great. Okay, that is probably this one. Roll two dice. For each of the following, you take one damage. Or I can move. Great. Roll two dice. And I take two damage. This is why I did not take the other damage. Okay, that's fine. Be that way. See if I can. I wish I could move one space. That would have been nice. Okay, that is the end of their turn. 
Okay, I am going to start with a short rest. We go down to five, we heal one. I'm gonna go on ahead and sprint. Nice. We move three spaces. One, two, three. We are going to do a weak attack. Perfect. He's out. We are going to not improvise. Focus, walk. We are actually going to walk. Okay, we get to move one space, lose one time, we move down to here. And Yeah, let's try and focus because I'm gonna get a furious strike. So we're going to focus, which will give us three. Which gives us We're gonna re-roll one die. That's what I wanted. Okay, so we get plus three time, three time, which gives us a purchasing power. We want furious strike and close call. Take these back, focus, walk, weak, sprint. And short rest. I'd really like to get the long rest. Seven, eight. That's the difference between this game and Hostage Negotiator. I never have this many cards. Okay, so we go on ahead and we spring another, which I'm not 100% sure I did that last time. He will then move closer. He gets moved up. He stays where he's at. He stays where he's at. And we get a terror card. It burns! No! Place the acid trap. Immediately apply the trap effect. See the trap reference card to you and any victims in your space. You lose one health. You lose. One person, terror goes up. Goes up by one. Up uh, one. And goes up by two. One, two. Wow. Wow. Okay. The only good news the only good news is he doesn't kill anybody. We've only got one victim left, and they're going to start coming after me, so... I only have the one focus? Oh, that is not good. Wow. Okay. Perfect. Terror level goes down by one. Time goes up by two. That's eight. <clears throat> I am going to buy distraction. Oh, 
Okay, I'm sorry, we're not doing this first. We're going to do the focus, and then we are going to walk. Right? I have weak attack, don't I? Yes, I have weak attack. Perfect. We're hanging on to these two dice. We're not rolling other ones. That's why we're not rolling other ones. Now my one, one here. We will do a weak attack. Okay, I'll take the one hit. He's out. And I am going to do a short rest. Wow! Plus two. Good. And I don't have another way of doing a, another attack. Okay, they're gonna get their he's gonna get his dark power. I'm not gonna be able to stop that. What else what else can I go look? I can go look here, here. Oh no. It's a, it's a, where's my third one? Things to astonish. Oh, they're over here. Uh, I can do that. Do I have a search card? Yes, I do. We're gonna go on ahead and walk. Ooh, an aluminum bat. I like that. Okay, we get to move one space. I am. Um, up and around. I'm not playing these games. Okay, that's it for us. Four, five, six. We lost one time. We have six left. We're going to take the long rest at five, close call at one, focus at nothing. Walk, short rest, weak attack, walk, focus. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Okay. So the first, we get a new. What happened to the third one? Oh, I put him over here. He moves up. They go on ahead and walk. He will walk closer. He does not hack. We get a terror card. There is no excuse. Up by one. Capetto and each puppet at a sp place Capetto and each puppet at the exit space distribute evenly. Okay. We can live with that. Okay, then they're going to walk one, two, one, two, and they are going to hack, and we get our dark power. I have no clue what this card is. If all puppets are on the board, Capetto cannot be killed. They're going to be coming after me as it is. He's over there. Okay, that takes care of that. How did he get there? Oh. Nope. One, two. And does one damage. the other guy. Okay, 
Okay, we need a distraction. Turn six. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is focus. First thing we're going to do is long rest. Two time, get three. We're going to focus. We are going to reroll both die. Good. And now by one. And do we get more time? No, there is not. Okay, so we get this. Okay, so what do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can get a maximum of a three cards. Okay, we want focus as one card. We want weak attack as another card. And we want sprint as our other card. Okay. They move two, one, two. Please don't attack. Oh. Place two victims at Capetto's starting location, then place the Capetto within one space of that location. Ironically, he is there. This is nice. I have meat shields. Granted, the core level is going to go up, but he'll be within one. Hackety hack time. And Capetto recovers. He hasn't been damaged, so. Both of the puppets are going to kill one. Core level goes up. We get an event card. They go up two more. I think it's just... Each time the whore level increases, roll a number of dice equal to the new whore level and do the following for each success. You may move a victim one closer to your space for every two dice that are not kill one victim. That eh, doesn't really make a difference at this point. <laughs> Does not make a difference. Okay, fun. Okay, turn seven. First thing that we do is focus. We will burn two time. Perfect. Core level goes down by one. And it costs us one time. And I really don't care about time at this point. Okay, we are going to do a weak attack. Oh, correction. We are going to do a furious strike. We need third die. Double success, exactly what we needed. That takes care of both of these puppets because that's really nice. That is good. We reduce horror by one. Okay, what do we do now? So my choices are pretty simple. 
I can move. If I move, I'm going to play improvise. Okay, we are going to. So we're going to sprint. Perfect. You can move two spaces one time. Then we play improvise. We will. I get to really roll one. Perfect. Exactly what I needed. Now, <laughs> threes and fours are successes. Critical blow. Double success, because those are successes. That is one, two, three. Three. The core goes down by one, which means time goes up by one. We will do a weak attack. Double success. Another one. I wish I could search right now. <laughs> Uh, I do have one more movement, and I am going to go on ahead and move here. That is the end of my turn. I have three. I gain these back. And I'm going to do distraction. That's probably a mistake. But the advantage is close call, sprint, furious strike, focus is a zero, close call. Okay, so I'm probably going to at this point. Do a little hack and dash. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. We spawn a new one. These guys move up. We go on ahead and they move. And tarot card. One, two. And is on top of me. And we'll do three points of damage. I am going to do a guard action. Reduce it by two. So we do one damage to me. And the puppet also does a damage to me. So that's the end of his turn. Okay, we are going to start our next turn with focus. Wow. Hang on. If I take the three damage, what else do I have? Hang on. I get Furious Strike, 
puppets aren't all out, I can take them out. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take three damage. I am going to take the critical blow. I get an extra die. So I get to roll four dice. Ah, improvise would have been nice to have right now. Okay. Perfect. We are not walking. We are sh probably going to short rest at the end of all this. Okay, so first of all, we're going to focus. Perfect, exactly what I need. Two extra time, plus lowers it by one. Perfect, that's exactly what I needed. We will do a critical blow. That is one, two, three damage to him. Horror reduces by one. Okay, so we have distraction, short rest. Distraction could be fun because I get a lot of points. Okay, so I currently have four dice. And I think I am going to roll for distraction. Because that's going to give me four extra time, which is 11. That means I can get some of the really good cards, <laughs> including retaliate. Which would be really good at this point. I'm going to be attacked. I'm going to do distraction first. Three success, so that means we get four for time. We get two for each of the chair levels and two for that. We will take a short rest. Do I want the short rest? Is the short rest? Yes. I hope it's worth it. I hope it's worth it. Okay, so that's going to get me down to three die only. We can't do anything with search. <laughs> search is at this point rather pointless. We have 11 to purchase with. Planning for the next horror roll. Isn't that improvise? Nope, we want improvise. We do not want. So there's three. That gives us eight left. Furious strike gives us four left. Guard gives us two left, and two close calls gives us zero left. So there we are, and the biggie is going to be the guard. <sighs> okay, next. They both move one closer, we spawn another puppet. I need to move. Terror. Event. Discard a random item if you have none. Discard the top card from the nearest item deck. And everybody starts attacking. Great. This is why I have the guard. Okay. Event. Employee transport. Place golf cart token in four in any of the four corner spaces. That must be this one. Uh, during upkeep, you and 
two victims in this space with the golf cart may drive two spaces but the golf cart must stay on the outer path if the golf cart has driven more it has if it is driven into a space with an enemy you may discard it to do three damage okay but he's not in an outer space okay let's keep that in mind Okay, wow. So, two damage. Killer does three, two damage. Two damage. There's one, and I get three more. I'm in a world of trouble. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. I'm going to have to make sure I walk. Please tell me I have a walk. And he does not have a walk. Okay, first thing we're going to... Oh, we're at six. Right, okay, hang on. Let's think about this. Okay, that we're not going to do. This we're not going to do. This I should have done, but I didn't. And we have a furious strike. I have three dice. Okay, let's do this. We're going to do improvise. Okay, until this action phase ends, all threes and fours, we then go on ahead and... Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so we are... Okay, we did the improvise. What do we do? I don't remember. Sorry about that. Had a minor cretuffle. So the threes and fours are good. Perfect. Exactly what we needed. So we get to do two strikes. We do the two strikes on these guys. We also lower the horror level by one. So that goes to seven. We have the guard. We have our close calls. We are going to end our turn here. We are purchasing seven points. Okay, so first of all, we get six. Oh, distractions not. And critical blow does not belong to us. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we're not taking everything. Okay, we have seven to purchase with. Long rest is five, guard is two, right? Guard is two. I really like retaliate. Okay, we're good. Yes, heavy exhale. Here we go. So we start his turn. The two guys are here and here. One comes out. I believe I did not have a walk last turn. They go on ahead. Oh! Oh, never mind. I didn't damage him. That would have been nice. He is going to take three shots at me right off the bat. I will use guard. Perfect. Ignore all damage. Exactly what I needed. Uh, they're not going to move because they're going to stay right where they're at. And 
Master Snowman, place Capetto in your space. Place a puppet in each adjacent space if able. That is actually really good because that means the puppet is not going. I don't think we alive puppets. I think they just stay where they're at. No, that doesn't make sense. So they're going to have the two. He does do an attack. I will again do a guard. I will lose two upcoming time. Perfect. Okay. Here we go. Oh, and I get an extra die. Because he's down. Well, it wouldn't have made a difference. So, turn 10. Here we go. Okay, all three are not out, so I can take I can take them out. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to take a short rest. We do get to roll four die. Which means we gain one. Lose a time. That's fine. I'm not going to make it past this anyway. We then go on ahead and we'll take these three, trade it for a furious strike, take a long rest. No, we are not taking a long rest. Excuse me. We are going to do our furious strike. Oh, what was it? No, it's critical blow we get to take, not furious strike, silly me. No. We are doing I might end up dying for this. Weak attack. That makes sense. Because he only has the one point left, we get to find out. Okay. Perfect. We do the one damage, which is exactly what we needed. We find out it's one extra. That leaves them with two. I do not get that extra die, but that's okay. We are not taking our long rest. We are going to do the critical blow. You thought you were dead, but you're not. Here we go. One success is Ironically, if I have no success on this, we both die. Here we go. One, two success, two partials. Not a problem. Gepetto falls to his death. No! And his puppets lay prone. I almost wish there was no success. I, that would have been great. I would have loved going out and dying all in one fell swoop. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I will see you again next time. And have a fantastic day. Please like and subscribe.